All right, y'all, let's get started. Let's see what messages we have. This is like my third time starting this video because the messages ain't coming out right. What messages for guidance do we have for the collective? This has to do with some sort of relationship with some of you guys. It could be a legal thing. It could be something dealing with documents. Let's say the Ten of Swords. Um, for others of you, this could be like discussing some things around a romantic relationship or a familiar relationship. Messages for the collective. What messages for guidance do we have for the collective? King of Pentacles flipped over while I was cutting my deck. So this may have to do with some money, okay? We got the Page of Pentacles here. I feel like this is the start of something new. Page of Pentacles is like the start of a new investment. It's learning. It's like on-the-job training. You feel what I'm saying? So Two of Pentacles, some of you guys could be learning something, balancing something. This has to do with the foundation. Two of Pentacles, this, this could have to do with money. Um, if not money, this could have to do with your health. Whatever the case may be, there's a new start. Something is balancing out. Eight of Cups here. I feel like you're on a new journey. Eight of Cups represents a new journey. Um, when you're talking about finances, because underneath here, this is some sort of new investment. So there has to be uh, uh, a leaving of the past. Um, letting go of a cycle. Some sort of cycle here. Lovers here. Someone could be making a decision to walk away from some sort of imbalances, establishing their strength, the three of wands, bringing their energies into alignment. Ace of wands here to obtain something new. There are some new plans being made, new engagements, new, 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 new energies. Someone here is trying to stabilize the energy. Now, there could be a restriction of allowing the energy out. Three of Pentacles here because there is some cooperation that is necessary in order to change some sort of foundation. That's five Pentacles. Okay, so we got star here. That's Aquarian energy. Um, we also got Gemini energy here. This is about working toward goals, bringing things together in order to achieve some sort of goals. Or this could be like um, aspiring to cooperate or aspiring to come together. King of Cups. So there are some aspirations for something to come together. But Knight of Pentacles, someone is dragging their feet. It was crazy over the last three, four days, I've been picking up this energy of, y'all, my eyelid. I had, okay, I'll try to put some lashes on, got them on, didn't like the way they look. For some reason lately, I don't know if I'm just getting older, I don't like all that extra shit. I just want to be motherfucking me. So I just snatched the lashes off and I thought I got off all the glue, but my eyelid is still sticky. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles here, it has taken someone a long time to allow something to be given life to this is my third reading and this card has came out every single read so this is about something new being created three of wands three of cups three of pentacles three 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 something new is being created here something is balancing out in order for something to prosper in order for something to grow expand king of pentacles popped out this is someone that is making a solid commitment. King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, making a solid commitment, but it's not coming quickly. Because the Knight of Pentacles is here, which means there is still some planning, some, some, um, someone is trying to be practical, I'm getting. So that's why there's this page of Pentacles. There may be some effort that is being taken, no doubt. There may be some effort that is being taken, but it's almost like, I don't know why that's still up there, but it's almost like a slow or small efforts. Maybe even unnoticeable. I'm going to just be real with you. There's big feelings here. King of Cups is big feelings. King of Pentacles, there's a major foundation here. Star is hopeful, inspired, wish fulfillment. Um, but someone has to abandon success of, or someone has to abandon going back and forth. So there's this solid opportunity here to allow something to grow, the solid opportunity to invest in something. The solid opportunity may be the Empress. It may be um, beginning a new life because the Empress gives life. This could also be a person that could be, you know, what is being desired, wish fulfillment. Star here, Empress, this could be wish fulfillment. Um, and this has to do with a, a relationship because we have the lover's card here with the Empress. So this has to do with a, a relationship. A, a relationship that is being born 
But the reason that why it's taking so long is because someone is back and forth with their energy. Two of Pentacles here may be trying to balance out their own foundation. They may have a lot of shit going on in their life that they're needing to balance out. But an only way to balance it out is to walk away from it. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. So in order to bring balance to your life, you have to walk away from whatever is creating the imbalance. That is the positive change. Um, you won't be able to have wish fulfillment until you ace of one star energy actually take action on that wish fulfillment, meaning pursue your goal or pursue your dream or pursue that which you dis which you deem is valuable for you. My hair is poofing out, which is good. Let me tell you, I did it this morning because I wanted an afro, but I guess my hair is getting too long to where it when I blow dry it, it'll just afro out. So I got to let it afro out on its own. And I hope it do right because it ain't been doing right lately. So two of pentacles here. It's the weather. It's, it's okay. Why is this two of pentacles here? Two of pentacles definitely represents making a choice that brings balance to a situation. Seven of swords here. So someone's back and forth because they haven't been putting in enough effort mentally. Um... I'll just call back. So um, I feel like here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, someone has to see something as solid. And that may be the problem. Someone may not be discerning something as actually solid, especially if they see that it's not um, in from their perspective, from their perspective. Like you could be looking, say, for instance, this is a job. Someone could have an opportunity to make a lot of money with a job, but it may be like a freelance job. And because that person sees freelance as like not employed, they may not be pursuing the job because they don't see it as stable. This can translate into relationships. Someone may be wanting to pursue some sort of relationship with someone, but may see this person as either flighty or impulsive and may not see that this person is actually stable. They're only making decisions that are in alignment with them. But because someone sees something as flighty, it's like an imbalance. There is some sort of restriction here. Um, because someone wants to make sure everything's planned out correctly. So there's been a lot of unstable effort that has been being put toward balancing something out. Um, and it just basically has to do with wealth. Someone may not see something as wealthy or may not see something as worthy of a commitment or may not have in the past. So there could have been a lot of unstable. I feel like now they do because Knight of Pentacles is a solid ass opportunity. They see it as a lot of potential. But previously, Seven of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, someone saw a situation, a job, a relationship, whatever the case may be, as flighty or unstable. So there may not have been a stable effort put in. So we have Eight of Cups here. This could also be like, this could be as simple as, you know, working out. Someone could have went to the gym, um, tried to work out, didn't see results as quick as they thought they were going to see. Didn't Things didn't change as quick as they perceived things were going to change. So they started putting in less effort, uh, started being, in, you know, unstable with or, or not consistent with their efforts, which created instability. You're not going to get the correct, like, for instance, in a job, you're not going to get the peak of an experience dealing with a job if you don't put in full effort for same thing go with relationships. Like you might, it might be a relationship where you might think that somebody is flighty, but it just may be because you've not committed to them. You've not told them that, hey, I want to pursue a relationship or build a relationship with you. So this person might be in the space of choosing to be free and choosing to follow whichever you know path it, it seems more viable for them at the moment like there's a lot of variables here that created some sort of unstable effort whether again this is about a job this is about a commitment whatever the case may be someone may want it to change their careers but may see other people not succeeding so they don't see it as something that would be fortunate for them but in actuality that's your path so eight of cups here there is a need for an emotional withdrawal. Someone could be emotionally withdrawn justice here. Yeah, so devil here. Someone, this is about doing what's right and withdrawing from your fears. It could also be dealing with Libra, uh, uh, Capricorn energy here. This is about walking away, walking away from imbalances, walking away from things that create imbalances, um, giving justice to, I don't want to say giving justice to the devil, but giving justice to your ego. 
by balancing it out. I feel like there has to be a balance of ego here. And that's the problem. Someone's back and forth between their higher mind, their higher perspective, and their ego. Maybe wanting to pursue, this could be someone wanting to pursue, you know, quit their job. You could. This could be someone working at a, I'm just giving scenarios. You could be in a, a, a CEO position and you may not be happy. You may want to quit that position and pursue, you know, your own business. And you could have um, the fear of other people's perception of you quitting what other people perceive to be as a good job to pursue something that may not be a vision in everyone else's eyes. That's not their path. That's your path. This could be a relationship. Someone could be fearful of getting into a relationship based off of other people's perception of who they're dealing with. You feel me? It's a lot of things that created instability, but in order to create balance and happiness moving forward, in order to have wish fulfillment and things work out in your favor, you kind of got to let go of that ego. Like, fuck how anyone else feels about what you're choosing to do with your life. You got one motherfucking life. That's it. Do what you want to fucking do. You feel what I'm saying? Like, come on. So, and, 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 and doing what you want to do does not mean that you're doing it to the detriment of other people. It means that you're doing it in, in alignment with your path. Like, I tell people all the time, people like, you know, I got a lot of people that want me to read on their career to make sure that they're doing what's, what's, on the path for them to do. And I'm going to tell you, like I tell everybody else, if you have an inspiration to do it, it's a part of your path, whether it will lead to success or it will lead to a lesson that creates success later. You have to be in alignment with those things that you desire. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not talking about hurting nobody, but I mean, if you want to create something new in your life, if you out of nowhere one day be like, oh man, I want to sew. You may become... A, a, a top seamstress, a celebrity seamstress or some shit. And true enough, you can make a lot of money not being a celebrity seamstress, no, no doubt. But I'm saying that may be your aspiration. You may want to work around celebrities and you may become a designer, a, a fashion designer, uh, anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, the energy that I'm seeing here is someone has to make a decision to be in alignment with their path. You've been granted an opportunity to take action on bringing into cooperation your dreams, meaning obtaining your goals. But in order to get there, you got to make a decision to walk away from anything that create imbalances to that. I am literally doing a 30-day, um, three-step manifestation uh, workshop, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Um, TikTok. And I'm. this is literally a part of one of the steps. It is alleviating things that do not align with what you are manifesting in your life so this is someone that has a dream an inspiration a goal it, they could even just want aspire to be in a certain type of relationship because king of cups is here this has to do with someone's emotions you feel what i'm saying but they could be dragging their feet because they're trying to bring they're trying to bring some some logic or stability to it there's not going to always be logic when it comes to your dreams. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone's logic is based on those who perceive what is logical for them. Everyone's not going to see what you see, whether this be a person, place, a thing. Everyone's not going to see what you see. And it's not for them to see what you see because this is your life, your path. This is what you have to do. Some of you guys have a goal that you're wanting to align to, but you've been back and forth basically lying to yourself because of your ego. You're afraid of what other people are going to say. You're afraid of other people judging you. You're afraid of being perceived in a certain way. Fuck all of that shit. You have to go toward the path that aligns most with your desires. So if you're wanting to be for, I don't know why I got this. If you want to be a stripper, you want to be the most, you know, popular exotic dancer in all of the Northern States. In order for you to do that, you have to remove yourself from other people's perception because people are going to view how, view you how they view you. That does not matter. Only thing that matters is how you view yourself. And if you're preventing yourself from moving based off of someone, else, someone else's perception, then you're allowing them to dictate your success or your failure. You have an opportunity to succeed, to give life to, to give birth to a new life. In order for that to happen, you have to escape the imbalances of whatever you've been dealing with. You have to commit to whatever it is that makes you happy. Lover's card here. Why is this lover's card here? We have seven of pentacles here. So this is making a, a decision to invest. 
Nine of Pentacles here, being confident about that investment. This could even be investing in your own material gain in some way, shape, or form. You could be making a decision that aligns for a lot of you guys underneath here. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Tower. You could be releasing your own independence and investing in some sort of partnership and relationship. Maybe realizing that that has been a blockage to your actual happiness. You feel me? This could even be someone that is afraid of commitment and really just deciding, you know what? The only thing that has been stopping me from being happy with the person that I want to be happy with is my own fear of being with that person. Let me remove myself out of my own way. So three of ones here. This is about establishing strength. And I know I did a lot of rambling earlier. I don't know what that's about. Five of swords here. So I feel like someone feels defeated. Five of Swords is feeling defeated, making an unwise decision to a Pentacles here by being back and forth. So someone was back and forth lying to themselves. It created this feeling of defeat. Someone felt like they made an unwise decision going back and forth. I read this the other day. <laughs> I read this the other day and at the end I was like, this person's going to choose to move forward. And here again, Ace of Wands through a pinnacle star, someone's taking an opportunity to cooperate with their wish fulfillment. The scenario is playing out. So although someone's establishing their strength now, changing how they view certain things, understanding that they may have made some unwise decisions by going back and forth, by trying to, someone could also have been trying to juggle two different jobs, two different relationships, whatever the case may be. It was done out of fear. Devil here. It was, done, it was done out of ego, whether it be fear, whether it be lust, whether it be shame, whatever the case may be, it was a misplaced desire. I feel like with the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, the harmonious change here is to let go of those things that they were oppressing themselves with, whether it's a substance, a person, a place, a, 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 a mindset, it doesn't matter. Ace of Wands is out. Someone's taking an opportunity here. Ace of Ace of Wands, clarifying the Ace of Wands. Okay, someone's taking a new opportunity. Could also be, this could be, someone, there could be an apology coming in. Someone could be understanding that they made an unwise decision being unstable, made an unwise decision being deceptive. Someone may fear balancing something out, may even fear speaking their truth, but they have to abandon this imbalance, this, this back and forth within their life and make a decision to be in alignment with this opportunity. Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands. Emperor here. This is someone that is gaining control of themselves. And it's funny, I got Emperor and Empress here. So this is about balancing out the polarities of, again, like I said, balancing out the ego and the higher self. Someone's balancing out the polarities of themselves and cooperating in order for their dreams to become reality. Three Pentacles here represents cooperating, teamwork. Queen of Pentacles here. King of Pentacles. What? King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles here, Three of Pentacles here. This is everything working the fuck out. All of the energies aligning. Okay, y'all see that? All of the energies are aligning here. This is most definitely about someone. You remember, and I said that in the same read, that this masculine energy may be extending themselves out in a way that is not in alignment with this feminine energy. And the feminine energy was the Queen of Pentacles. And I said she was going to transmute that King of Cups, King of Wands into the King of Pentacles. And I have the King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. This is now working together. This is now cooperating. There is definitely, someone is going to make a decision here to extend out either some sort of apology or to try to like there could be someone ex like just wanting to learn more, you know what I'm saying? Invest more. Um, this could be the beginning of a small, like it's a small investment, but it's the beginning of something stable. So star energy here. Why is the star energy here? Why is the star? So we have the eight of wands here with the two of wands. That is 10 of wands. That's embracing the end of difficulties by moving forward and gaining dominion over their own path. Someone is getting, y'all, I got eyelash glue in my nail but someone is gaining dominion over their their own desires 
star. Someone is shooting for the stars here. I do feel like with the Eight of Swords here, there is a lot of restrictions or there has been a lot of restrictions. It's been a cycle of restrictions, 888-333. But now someone's in alignment with, they've learned the lesson. Now here are the blessings. So King of Cups here. King of Cups is, is definitely here. King, We're going to put them back in there. King of Cups is definitely here. Making a decision to come out of, of this back and forth energy. Two of Pentacles is in reverse here. Judgment here with the Ten of Wands. Lay down the burdens. Someone's not no longer. It, it, this could even be like a, going back and forth to a relationship. Someone may be deciding, I'm not going to fucking, we're not going to keep doing this. Either we in or we out. And it looks like King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, there could be some sort of partnership that is coming together and working. But it definitely is. Because someone had to walk away from what was not working. Okay? So, Knight of Pentacles here. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? We have Ten of Cups here with the strength. So, someone has to have, someone has had to find the strength, High Priestess here, to trust their intuition. Or someone could be trusting their intuition now. Emotionally committing to overcoming their ego. Knight of Pentacles here, solid investment. Slow poke energy though. <laughs> so if you think this is happening fast, no. No. I do see maybe within one to three weeks something like uh maybe shifting, but this is the path. Something is almost it's in it's in gestation. You feel me? You see the, the Empress here is still pregnant. This is still in gestation. So <laughs> I always try to tell y'all what I actually see. You feel me? What I actually see as far as movement coming in. I see a decision being made. I see someone emotionally walking away from something that is in balance, maybe even quitting a job, quitting a relationship, something that created some instability. There could also be some lies and deception associated with that. But this is someone establishing their strength to take a new opportunity to take action on a new opportunity. Um, that is, and it's, they're going to put three of pentacles is physically working together. So this is like, this could even be someone saying, Hey, you know, I'm sorry. Things came out the way that it came out, whether this is career, like, I'm sorry that I wasn't at work or I'm sorry that I wasn't active in this partnership, this relationship, this friendship, but I want to build something better. And in building something better does not mean immediately things change, but it does mean very swiftly this is going to become wish fulfillment. Within a week, I see this becoming wish fulfillment, but it's going to take at least three weeks for something to come from this. Why is this Empress here? Why is this Empress here? Why is this Empress here? Lovers here. Someone's choosing to grow, choosing the Empress. Whether the Empress is within them, to death here, there's definitely an ascension. Someone's finding the strength to allow things to take form, allow things to come together. Let's see what guidance we have. <laughs> if you guys would like to see the extended of this, hop on over to the wise ones. What guidance do we have? Clarity here, freedom and self-discipline. I'm trying to tell you. Purification here. So I'm telling you, someone has to walk away from things that are imbalanced. Literally choosing to embrace or choosing to establish, come together with a new opportunity here. Freedom, clarity, self-discipline. So with self-discipline, it says the biggest obstacle we face in this 3D experience is the obstacle of self. Our desires and the dependency on fulfilling those desires can sometimes hinder us from even beginning our purpose. With so many temptations, we tend to lean toward what's easiest. Understand you created your path, so only you can follow it. It was tailor-made for you. Stay on task. I literally been saying that this whole read. What is your, whatever is your path. Is for you. I don't care if it's a new job, a new relationship, a new friendship. I don't give a fuck if you want to go live in Timbuktu on a mountaintop in a tent. That's your path. And you cannot let anyone stop you from going down your path. You're not doing things that are in, that is in the detriment to anyone else. You're doing things that are fulfilling your destiny. So for a lot of you guys, this is about disciplining yourself to you know, overcome the obstacles of imbalances within your life. Whatever is creating chaos for you, remove it. 
clarity here. There are no there are no illusions within your life right now. The sun is shining bright. I am aware that you know the truth. The answer are you. You have all the clarity you need. You know. You know that you got to free yourself from some things. Freedom. Says you are free. It's time to let go of any ties that bind and any baggage that weighs you down. You are free from karmic cycles. Release stagnant emotions and open your heart to new and positive experiences. Release the reins and let go. So this woman of value may have directly or indirectly transmuted this masculine's energy so that he sees his own value. There is a masculine energy here that is walking away from things that create instability, chaos, deception, and and manipulation in his life. Y'all, did something just fucking fly on me? Um, but anyway, <laughs> this masculine is removing things and taking a new opportunity to bring things together for their own destiny, for their own path, for their own wish fulfillment. It It may take some time but this masculine is integrating their energies in order for them to ascend. And they're choosing the empress, but I don't, for some of you guys, they're literally choosing a, a feminine energy, but I feel like they're choosing the empress within them, meaning allowing things like allowing the cards to fall where they may no longer trying to control circumstances. All right. So let's see what guidance do we have. What messages or guidance do we have for the collection? Messages, guidance for the collection. Someone sees clearly that nothing will come of the situation. It literally says nothing will come of the situation. Okay? Because someone is now looking at the bigger picture. No longer trying to satisfy their ego. Someone is looking at the bigger picture. There's some more that fell out I'm going to read. Someone is looking at the bigger picture and choosing to work on their fears, come out of hiding. Someone is wanting to heal. They want to begin some sort of new romantic cycle. I definitely see that. Someone is put, definitely putting in the work. We got two more that failed. There is this guidance of saying, what do you need to release? A lot of you guys need to meditate and contemplate how you are going to release these things. So I, my guidance literally is all that I read. So if you guys want to watch the extended, hop on over to the wise ones. But this is all I have.